Our world is full of legends and stories that range from very believable to absolutely absurd. And in this Crusader Kings 3 video, I will be exploring a legend that lands somewhere towards the latter, the Salts of Skota. But first, some backstory. So there's this abbot in Ireland named Eidu Crimthen who writes this book called The Book of Leinster. And in this book, Mr. Crimthane claims that Skota, the daughter of an ancient pharaoh, and her husband, <laughs> Gaithelos, a king that also got cured of a snake bite by none other than Moses from the Bible. Yeah, they got exiled from ancient Egypt and ended up settling the Scots in Scotland and the Gales of Ireland. Scots, of course, being named after Skota herself and Gales after uh, Mr. Gaithelos. There's also a whole bunch of other amazing claims in this book, including that Skota brought the Stone of Scone to Scotland. For those that don't know, the Stone of Scone is a stone slab which upon all kings of Scotland have been crowned. Skota is also said to have died in battle, after trying to jump over a river while on horseback while pregnant. It is safe to say that the Sons of Skota is an absolutely insane myth. But in this Crusader Kings 3 Legends of the Dead video, I will be playing as Scotland and embrace the legend of her ancestral Egyptian mother and reclaim our glorious homeland of Egypt. Because the sons of Scotia are coming home. But before we begin, this video is sponsored by Board Game Arena, an absolutely amazing online platform that lets you play over 700 different board games like Catan, Ticket to Ride, and many, many more. And with over 10 million registered players from all over the world, you'll always have someone to play with. All the games come with in-depth tutorials on how to play, so it's the perfect way to explore and enjoy new board games at your own pace. And the best part? It's all in your browser. No installation required. You just pick a game, match with other players within seconds, and enjoy a great session of board game fun. So make sure to click my link in the description to check them out. And for one week from when this video was posted, anyone who uses my link in the description to subscribe to Premium for one month, get one month for free. Very cool. And if you want to see what it's like to play on Board Game Arena, you can check out the video I did where I had an epic board game night together with my friends Simo and Leif. Link in the description as well. Thank you to Board Game Arena for sponsoring this video. You see that pyramid? We're gonna stand on top of it and play the bagpipes. Unironically, uh, God bless Scotland. Where else would the UK keep their nukes? Look it up. They're using you as a nuclear storage shed. But first, we need to properly take back Scotland. We can't have these Norwegians next door. Now, I'm a Swedish person myself. I know how bad it is to have Norwegians as your next door neighbor. So let's kick them out. We'll start by smooching up to Pope Alexander. Great mustache, by the way. Hello, my name is Malcolm from Scotland, and I'm here to convince you to fund my trip to Egypt. It will include fun activities such as relaxing by the beach at the glorious river Nile, admiring the beautiful architecture of the glorious buildings, and deep bro-to-bro mano-el-mano discussions late into the night. All in all, it's gonna be a glorious time. So, what do you say? Can I get some funding? That, all that and uh, Pope Alexander says no. Eh, I'm sure we can send him a cask of whiskey and convince him. But our first thing to do is to raise our legitimacy. And as a Scotsman, there's a super easy way to do that. We sit upon the stone of scone. We'll also hold court. A great way to gain some quick legitimacy. There we go, recognize ruler. We'll also hold a grand tour to get some taxation in here. The people aren't exactly in love with me, but they still have to pay their taxes. We're being attacked by Northumbria. Oh, hell no. Listen, buddy, we're gonna marry Malcolm off to Cecilia de Normandy, soon to be Queen of England. We raise our great glorious bonny lads, and we head in for a bit of battle. A little scrap, if you will. But alas, I've spotted the Murkians, and we'll swiftly catch them in the highlands of Cunningham. And now William the Conqueror is, uh, just that, the Conqueror. Yeah, buddy, I'll fight the Norwegians for you. And just like that, we gain a whole lot of gold as we sue him for peace. That puts us up to distinguished, and it gives us legitimacy, solving two problems in one. Very great. But we need a bit more fame. It will help the French against the Norwegians in this war. And now I'm friends with the Pope! A, a plague? Oh, oh, it's William's flux. Well, I'm not there, I'm here. <laughs> and there we go, I helped my buddy out in the war. Thank you very much. 
Now I'm gonna seize the land away from this guy. The English and the Scots have a long running history of being great friends. And don't let anyone tell you anything else. We've taken back the Thuturoyer. Or as we shall now call them. Uh, the Thuturoy. The as we now call them. The Isles. Very good. Scotland looks a bit bigger now. We'll also scoop up the Isle of Man. Why not? And Galway. This requires us to have a great glorious hunt. Everyone fire air at once. It is dead. We mount its head on a wall and gain 20 legitimacy. Very good. Now to hold a grand tournament. A great and glorious board gaming tournament. That's right. We'll be playing Magic the Gathering. Setter of Catan, more like Setter of Scotland. <laughs> that's, that's, ter that's terrible. I'm doing this tournament because I need to get my fame to Illustrious. Uh oh. God damn it. I've been outplayed. She played the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The Scottish Boils. A case of the measles is spreading. So we're going to isolate the capital. And so the first act of this Scottish Pharaoh adventure is completed. And Scotland is more or less united. Now it is time for step two. Spreading the myth. Now we gathered up enough gold by begging to the Pope and promising him deep conversations in Egypt. And we already have the Sons of Scota heroic legend seed. So we'll start it right away. The illustrious is the one we want to get to as this gets us access to launch a legendary adventure, which is basically like the Varangian adventure for Vikings, but for your entire court. Taking over not just a duchy, but a kingdom. Let's create the legend. An alliance with the Holy Roman Empire would ensure a great ally when the time comes for us to invade Egypt. Now all we want to do is spread this legend. It has to go from just here, Gauri, all the way to, well, all of Scotland. Ademar, you can join my kingdom. And he'll become the court poet. An excellent one at that. He can help us spread this legend faster. But you know who literally just joined? That's right. King William the Beardless King of England. He true spreads the legend of the Sons of Skota. I'm now friends with none other than Turcato. Who I'll quickly invite to court. And make into an excellent court musician. Oh the greatest of kings that's you Malcolm my friend. I'll stay with you to the very bitter end. Beautiful, beautiful. But now there's some stinky disease coming over from Ireland. I think we should uh, isolate the capital. <laughs> but our legend has spread to 89 baronies, which almost is enough to upgrade it. Great. But who the heck is this Robert? Robert. He starts spreading it, but instantly he leaves. And then he rejoins. I don't think this guy can make his mind up. But here we go. We can upgrade the Sons of Skota. It is now a level two legend. Illustrious. But I'll say this, the legend is getting very pricey to maintain. Pope, I'm broke! I need gold! We're 15 years into the game and King Malcolm III, the big header, has started to lose his hair and is also betrothed to a 7 year old capet. Uh, life has a strange turn sometimes. But more than that, we're losing a lot of money spreading this legend. So, I think it's high time that we complete it. Even though we only got to rank 2. I fear that we're gonna have a big issue trying to spread this to 200 areas. We'd also have to spend a ridiculous amount of gold. And the demand local submission bonus is great, but we don't need it. So we will complete the great legends of the Sons of Skota. That goes something like this. King Malcolm of Scotland was born to the great ancient Egyptian lineage to rule the kingdom of Scotland as his forefathers before him. When a tearful, desperate poor peasant requested an audience with him, the pious Malcolm could not leave his place unattended and quickly spoke to him in Egyptian Arabic, confusing the man enough that he forgot about his initial problems. Malcolm's legend culminates in a marvelous adventure. His great deeds of arms were such that all kings had wonder thereof, and many nobles and commoners came to his encounter, for they wished to see the legend in the flesh, the White Pharaoh. He also went to Rome, where he met his friend Pope Alexander, who sponsored the trip. And if that wasn't good enough, God came to visit him and told him that Bro, you're not Egyptian! Jesus Christ! But Malcolm didn't listen. Malcolm just pointed at the pyramids and laughed. <laughs> Pyramid. The legend is completed. We are the sons of Skota. Let the legend be known. We now have access to launch a legendary adventure. This is very, very woofy. This doubles our diplomatic range and gives us a one-time access to the legendary adventure causes belly 
Letting us abandon our current realm and seek our fortune in a foreign kingdom. We can't get off this wild ride. We asked the Pope for gold, but even with our extended range, we can't reach from Scotland to Egypt. So we'll have to make a pit stop, and I know exactly where. The Pope would give us a glorious claim on the Principality of Salerno. Scotsmen, we are heading to our birthright. But first, pit stop in Italy. Pizza for everyone. But my court musician is dying. No way, the Italian. He, he heard we were attacking his pizza people and he just goes, ah, won't you play me a last tune? Thank you. He saved every little penny I've paid him playing music for me and knows he won't be long for his life. He gives me money. <laughs> you legend. We might have spread a legend about us being the pharaohs, but that boy is the true legend. But we gotta be quick because our cause's bell is about to run out. Salerno is now a Scottish colony. Please start speaking Gaelic and drink whiskey. And while you're at it, put that Mars bar in batter and fry it! I'm not warning you again! Truly, the threat of a lifetime. This is what it's all come down to. 16 years have passed and King Malcolm III, the big-headed, big enough to put the pharaoh helmet on his head, has prepared everything. Scotland almost completely united, gold acquired, legend properly spread and beloved by all. We have the support of the people, we have the support of my friend the Pope Alexander, we have the support of an almost dead Brad Pitt impersonator on the flute. It is time to attack the Shia Caliphate as the Scots and reclaim Egypt for the Scotans. Big ancient mummy Egyptian, I'm coming for you. It is time to conquer the kingdom of Egypt. Or as someone suffering from utter madness would say, we're taking a night boat to Cairo! Let's go! And go holy moly! The maddest of lads has shown up in Gauri! 1,500 adventurers all rolling a nat 20 on their D&D sheets! And one of them has kept a retinue lancers, holy moly! We put the rain on there, and if that wasn't big enough, we're also gonna acquire the help of all our friends we got along the way. The Holy Roman Empire, Philip of France, and gosh darn developers of Arma 2, 3 and 1, Bohemia Interactive! So we take our great adventures and sail them on down, and the whole of Europe has heard the tale, and they're coming to help me. It's technically like a little crusade, also sorry, but... Your son got the big parable ears! He can hear my thoughts! Get him out of my head! Gentlemen, we have arrived. Let me touch foot in my ancestral homeland. The Scotsmen are back! Mummy Scota, we made it! We're here! Holy moly, I can't believe it! That's it, we're waltzing into Cairo! We have to go! Have at them, lads! Throw their corpses into the Nile! Let's go! The Battle of Cairo! Our battle will be legendary! Holy moly, they added the, the sick effects! Yo, you're messing him up! You're messing him up, buddy! He's already dead! God damn, this is like a... This is even more organized than the Crusades! Boom! We captured the Caliph Al Mustansir! Force feed him the Mars Bar! My friends, the sons of Skota has returned! We live here now! We, we live in Egypt! King Malcolm, the bigger of Egypt! I can't believe it! <laughs> we have returned! But guys, what happened to Scotland? I'll tell you. It's being ruled by a Norwegian? Yeah. I don't know, I don't particularly like it, but hey, we were meant for Egypt. We are the sons of Skota after all. And of course, we live in Cairo. Now, we should just seize more of the land back. I'll take all of Alexandria in a swift battle. And I would rather not take out the Seljuks because, you know, that's just Faraba. Is that even Egypt? I'm just gonna pretend it's not, okay? Raise all the lands, including the adventurers. We're heading in again! A glorious war! It's going fine and splendidly! We'll come down and we'll kick their bottoms out of the Nile! Come here! God damn, we got the full European alliance in here! And a great and glorious realm financed by ransoming random sheiks and blackmailing Greeks! 
But we have taken Alexandria. Nice and neat. Egypt has grown. What's this a great deed for Kingdom of Egypt? Two heroic legends? The great deed of the Kingdom of Egypt. Propaganda machine, assemble! Gentlemen, it is time we take the pyramids. I did promise I was gonna play bagpipes on top of them after all. Big war with big risk. But if we move swiftly, we'll be able to make it there. Very good! Now to top that off, we also complete this great deed legend. That we are indeed the rightful king of the Skotan Empire. After all, this is Skota. As I'm out here having a glorious little time. They call a, they call a goddamn jihad on me. That's not good. That's not good at all. But hopefully I'll get some friends that will come help me. Including the who? The Seljuks? Oh, but the, Se the Seljuks, they're not feeling too well. <laughs> well, we'll see how this goes, but I'm gonna continue. Oh, damn. They started the thing right away. They're already going. I, 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 I had no idea. Well, raise the hands. We need to defend ourselves. True and proper. Let's see if I have any European connections that are alive. We'll marry off to the Makurians. The great empire south of us. Mm, connected by the Nile. The Scotans will protect the realm. Scotia is ours. You may not take it. From me dead cold hands. They're gonna have to glue you back together. In hell! What on God's green earth are you doing? Come over and help me! Help me, goddammit! Crusader King's AI, for the love of God! Defeat the army! Oh, oh, I know why they're not responding, because I'm not speaking Arabic! Please, let's just defeat them! Yes! More! More! Squash them! Squash! Please! My armies! Scotland, help! Truly a chaotic sight, but just a foretaste for what's to come. We broke them! Send them back! We have survived, and as vengeance, we will take Jerusalem, but not as the Scots. After all, we claim the true heritage of Scota, and she was Egyptian, so we too will become Scota. Holy moly, it's there! I didn't change the name! They knew! They knew! Our culture will be Arabic, but our language, Anglic. We have strong kinship. We till the land of the floodplains. We are strong in our faiths. We fight in the desert. And we do like the foreigners. This will give us a whole host of new technology, including Scottish war camels. My friends, the Scota are so back. Let's go! Be useful, be useful. We will take Jerusalem. I am right here. Right here. Come and take me. Heck, my wife has the measles. Oh no, my homeland is, is all pestilence by the Christian boils. Not good, but uh, I'm over here. I'm fighting. <laughs> hey, put me in the goddamn battle suit. I'm ready. But all my kids are dying. That's, um, that's pretty bad. Well, damn, uh, all of my kids died from that disease. That's not good. I wouldn't say that's great exactly. Tell you what, I'm gonna stop being celibate. The Battle of Jerusalem, let's go! A truly magnificent fight for the Skota, where we completely outnumber them, defeat them, and send them on their merry way. <laughs> huh? He forced it? He what do you mean the Muslims aren't fighting for me anymore? You dog! That's it? I mean, it makes sense. We're attacking the Holy Land, but... Damn, he can do that? That's allowed? Well, too bad you're in my prison now, you little leper. Ew, he's a leper! Throw him out! Well, I now control one of the holy sites. Very good. But we have a son! Aye. King Malcolm of Skota, the legend that went all the way from Scotland to the realm of Egypt and turned it properly Scottish has died at the age of 75. A true legend. And so it came to be that the Scots settled into their new home. Bagpipes rang out over the pyramids. The barley of the Nile brewed into glorious single malts. But most importantly of all, the sons of Scotia had finally returned home. Hello, Koifish here. I hope you enjoyed this absolutely insane legends adventure. If you did, it would mean the world to me if you could leave a like and a comment, as it really helps the video in the algorithm. More adventures to come, I hope to see you then. Until next time, stay Scotian, my dude. Yeet!